Hi, this is Gar from Prequilt, and for this video, we are going to learn how to use the randomize feature. So Prequilt comes with a uh, three different types of randomization. You can randomize colors, blocks, and rotation. So with these three uh, randomized features, you can create some really interesting designs, but at the same time, giving you a lot of control over how the randomized algorithm works. So let's get started. So we don't have any uh, blocks on our quilt yet, so let's fill it in with something simple and we'll work our way up and build something more complicated with more of the features. So we have an HST block here, but I'm interested in using a different block. So I'm gonna create a custom block here and I'm going to uh, insert this shape and I'm just gonna increase it so that it fills up the entire screen. And then I'm gonna duplicate that and then rotate that and then align it. And so I'm going to fill in the middle part here now. And I'm going to, I'm going to change this to a different color. I'm going to actually just leave that. So I'm going to just increase this and then I'm going to change this using the uh, color tag A of pink. And then this one will be C. So I have three different colors. So now I'm ready to fill in uh, this block to the quilt. So let's go back and use the randomized colors. So I'm just gonna click this and it will now randomly uh, rotate, I mean randomly uh, change the colors. So let's take a look at the color tags over here as I click the randomized color. So there are three color tags here and this one is called A and as I click this button, it randomly assigns a new color to each of these tags. And because each of these three shapes were uh, linked to these color tags, uh, clicking the randomize will affect the shape with, um, that used the color tags. So now with the randomized color settings, let's click this to open up the settings. So by default, uh, we create a Kona color uh, palette for you. And so this palette has 369 colors. So every time you click the randomize button, it randomly pulls from this palette. So we can create our own and I've created one called hot. And so that only has 41, but it's uh, just a combination of various uh, warm and hot colors. So here, so I can create a, um, another one. I'm gonna call this maybe cold. So I'm just gonna select some blues. Okay. And then I'm going to maybe mix in some free spirit, maybe blues. Okay. American made. All right, so we have 35, which is pretty good. Uh, so, so if you wanna use uh, the cold uh, palette that we just created, you just need to click this checkbox and then uh, when you click on the randomized colors, it'll only use the blue. So let's open up the color tag. So you can see that it's using the blue here. And you can also uh, lock these so that it's only randomizing uh, A now. If you don't like the blue, you can always override that by clicking onto the pencil sign. And maybe it's too much blue, so you can add some maybe uh, some yellow to it. Okay. So it gives you a lot of control and how the colors work as well. So now we can randomize some blocks. We have uh, two blocks, and so when we click onto the randomized blocks, it's going to take the HST and the orange peel block and randomly um, lay them out on a quilt. So I'm going to select everything because I want it to uh, apply to every cell. Okay, so there you go. So now it has about, it's like perfectly uh, even, 50 uh, for HST and 50 for the um, orange peel. So we can also control how the, uh, the, the probabilities of each blocks appears. So I'm going to click this and to show you 
uh, the the dialog box here. So we don't. I don't really want the HSTs as much as the orange peel. So I'm going to increase this to five and just leave that at two. And so when I click this. You'll notice that there's now 18 to 82. In fact, I don't even want the HST there. So I could delete this block or I can just tell the randomize to ignore it by clicking onto the one heart. And so it says here, ignore when randomizing. So when I select this and then click onto the randomized blocks, you'll notice that there's only one block here now. It's not very interesting. So for, uh, for this, we're gonna create another block and this time I'm gonna clone this one and I'm just going to change some colors around not a lot of change but just something very subtle so for this I'm going to select that and change that to B and this time I'm going to just change that to A so these colors are now swapped I'm going to save that so it's not affecting the quilt yet because I haven't applied this new block there so I'm going to highlight everything and go to randomize and so now um, now there's about 58 to 42. And so this is starting to create something a little bit more random and a little bit more interesting. I'm going to create one more block. And then I'm going to uh, make this uh, C and then this uh, B, no, A. Okay, so this is zero. I'm going to now randomize the blocks again and so let's see yeah so this is about 32 38 and 30 pretty evenly distributed so we're just now let's do the the rotation here actually uh, since since I'm gonna just uh, show you one thing uh, that how you can control so if you don't don't like any particular blocks here you can just select them and then you can click on apply and then that overrides uh, what the algorithm provided. So at any time, you can still change anything you want. Uh, so this gives you a lot of control over how the blocks are laid out as well. So let's go back in here, and then we'll finish off with the randomized rotation. So I'm gonna click this, and then click the randomized rotation, and just keep clicking, and this is looking really interesting. So I find that there's uh, too many um, angles the same. So I'm just gonna double click uh, and just kind of customly uh, rotate this. Um, okay. So again, you can have a lot of control over how the rotation works as well. And then just keep clicking this. And this gives you a really nice uh, random design. You can also go back into the colors palette and then this time click hot. And then when you click this, it only produces. So this is a really quick way to generate like tons of ideas super fast. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you, uh, if you like it, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow us uh, on when we release new tutorials, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, write them down below and we'll answer them. Thanks for watching.